Do you think ISIS is an imminent threat? Yes, I think ISIS is an imminent threat. I think that every time that they have said, hey, this is what we're going to do, we're going to behead this person or we're going to go in here, they've done it. Mm -hmm. So I think when they say, you know, we're going to raise our flag over the White House, personally, I don't think that they're capable of accomplishing that, at least not right now, but I think that they will at least try to do that. And I think that makes them a threat. I think, you know, just yesterday we learned that they are trying, they had plans to attack metro systems in Paris and here in the United States. So I think that they are an imminent threat. We know that they're here, we're monitoring them here. Um, personally, I don't know, why don't we put them in prison and monitor them there? It seems like that would be a better idea. So let me but, ask you, do they have an Air Force? Not that I'm aware of, but you know, we had those Navy? missing planes what about, in Liberia. What about a Navy? Well, they're trying to get access to, uh, in Gaza, there is a water port there. So if they were to partner with Hamas, that could be a problem. So you they think have, that they could actually conquer America and put their flag in the White House? No, I don't think that they can, but I don't think that means that they wouldn't try. But they, they, don't, they don't have a chance in hell to even, they can't even cross the Atlantic. They don't have an Air Force or a Navy. We have Americans that we know have gone, that they're being trained by ISIS, they're uh -huh. coming back. So right. even if they can't cross, say they can't get across in a Navy ship, granted, that doesn't mean they can't fly in here. That doesn't mean they're not American citizens uh -huh. or other citizens coming in. They could in. do a terrorist act, but they could not they could do a terrorist destroy act. America Correct. or put, a, put their... Correct. They couldn't uh, conquer America. I agree. They're, they're an insignificant military power. I don't think that we can call them insignificant well, when they're they, slaughtering okay, have people they been in, able, in Have they been able Iraq. to uh, defeat Assad? No, they have not been able to defeat Assad, but I don't think that that's their goal Assad necessarily. Assad is a weakling compared to us. Assad is a weakling compared to us, but he's not their biggest threat. The, to them, the biggest threat is Israel, the small Satan, and America, the great Satan. That they, would be what they want ultimately well, want to destroy. They have, a, they have a war, these two murderous thugs, Yes. Uh, ISIS and Assad. Mm -hmm. They have a war right now, and there's yeah. a war zone. Two of our journalists went there and got murdered. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they haven't taken any specific action, uh, uh, terrorist action. Do they have a plan, and have they taken any specific actions to implement that plan of terrorism in America? I don't think that we can say we what terrorists are doing, because obviously what our government knows about what the terrorists are doing, if we're smart, we're not going to say, hey, we know that this is what you're doing. Because then they know that they, we know but what they're doing. Do they, do they, nobody's claimed that they have a specific plan and have taken any specific action to attack America, right? I think when they behead American journalists, that is a direct action against us. Well, the American journalists went into a war zone uh, between these murderous thugs. So it's, so it's they, okay then if they no, kidnap them and behead them because no, they're there? No, it's, it's morally wrong and yes. illegal and we should prosecute them. It's a criminal action. They, they murdered these two people. But when you How go do we in, do criminal action go, in a country you, we don't have diplomatic authority? But the authority. point is we, when you go into a war zone mm -hmm. between murderous thugs, things like that happen. That's and true. That, that, that's not a so we shouldn't act, do anything. But that's not a terrorist act. It's not a terrorist act to behead someone? No, because... People have been, uh, uh, American citizens are murdered all around the world all the time. And that's not... And, and we don't go to war with these countries. In Mexico, the Mexican police murder Americans in Mexico and we don't go to war with Mexico because do you think you should go... The, I don't see the Mexican police saying we want to raise our flag over the White House. They I haven't say, heard they that. They don't say that. That's true. That's not. They don't have because, any desire to come take over our country. That's the point. ISIS does. Just just because they say they're going to raise their flag doesn't mean that they have a chance in hell of doing it. I mean, it doesn't mean they won't try. Just because they won't be successful doesn't mean that they won't try to, to harm conquer America? American citizens at every chance they get. But to conquer America. Look, you and I both know they are not capable of conquering the right. United States. They don't that have, does so not listen, mean that's why that not they will not try threat. to harm us every chance they but get. That makes them an imminent threat. So, but somebody who doesn't have the means to harm you cannot be an imminent threat. Until they have the means, then they become an uh, imminent threat. I think we're probably yeah. just going to have to agree to disagree. Because I can keep okay. saying my point, you can keep saying okay, your well, point. No, we're I, never going to well, agree on this I appreciate the fact that you're willing to discuss your views on this. Uh, but. So far, I haven't heard of any specific plan or any specific actions to commit terrorist acts in America. 
and we just we just I him. just what told you yesterday we learned that they planned they were we found that they were planning to attack metro stations here in the planning, US but have they taken any specific steps they say that they would like to do if this. they say that they're going to do that we they have to take that, that seriously okay. are they are they in a fight for their life right now, fighting the Iraqis and Assad? No, they're they have, bringing in three million plus dollars a day. They're recruiting right. tens of thousands of compared men. They're the compiling billions. a standing army. Yeah, compared to what the is, What is that for? Why are they Why are they accumulating they're, money, oil, power, soldiers, just so they, they can sit there and do nothing? No, they're trying to conquer Iraq and, and Syria, and they haven't been able to do so yet. So you don't think when they say that they want to raise their flag over the White House, they just say that for no reason? I when they say that they well, hate America, when they say they're going to behead an American, <clears throat> that doesn't matter? It's not terrorism? We shouldn't take it seriously? To say that is just braggadocio. I mean, they have no possibility So we should just ignore it. them? That's your solution? Ignore them? I would... Uh, no, I think we should try to kill the people that murdered the journalists. It's a criminal action. So you so, think if we kill the but, one man but, that does the beheading, no, that another well, one will spring who up? Everybody cooperated with this beheading. That would be all of ISIS. No, no, not all of ISIS. That would people, be all of ISIS. Just the people that, that were involved in this beheading, not all. So, but let me ask you this. In a matter of principle, mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you think that uh, we should go to war with any country that murders two of our journalists that go into a war zone? I think that... First off, our definition of war may be different. I don't think that what we're doing in Iraq right now is war. I think it could oh, be, and I, I think if we were to go to war that we could go in, we could take care of this threat. What we're doing right now, honestly, I don't know what the president's doing, because the point of airstrikes is to eliminate and prepare room for your ground troops to go in. So I don't think we're in a full-fledged war. I think the president has made that very clear that we're not at war. What we're trying to do is eliminate the imminent threat. I think, yes, you know what? If, say, in Russia there was an imminent threat that said, hey, our goal is to come raise our flag over the White House, and then they started killing Americans, and then we uncovered plots that they're planning to bomb Americans and commit mass acts of terror, that's something that we need to take seriously. And if that means that we need to go kill them there so they don't kill us here, yes, I'm totally okay with that. So you think that we should go to war with any country that murders? Not with the country. We're not at war with Iraq. We're not at war with Syria. Oh, We're at war thing. with okay, ISIS. So you think that bombing ISIS is not an act of war? I think it's an act of war against ISIS. Yeah. I don't think it's an act of war against um, well, so Iraq or Syria. You said that, that wasn't. We weren't at war with them. Are we at war with ISIS? Are you yeah. saying or Iraq and Syria? ISIS. With ISIS, I think that we, are we should be at war with them. Well, we are. In it, fact bombing at war. them is an act of war, but we're not doing. We would have to send in ground troops for it to be a full-out war, which we are not doing. Well, you can. Uh, prosecute a war anywhere you any way you like and you can do it through air power or ground troops or whatever you think is your whatever air but, power but is not going to accomplish but, anything in the long run I, I, they could uh, conquer ISIS and uh, when we left ISIS would uh, renew its fervor just like we if we are, hadn't we pulled are. up ISIS wouldn't have ever accumulated but the power the, that they okay, have now so if a country if two of our American citizens, journalists, are murdered in a war zone between two murderous uh, countries like ISIS and Assad, and they go in there and they get killed, we should uh, declare a war on them? I think I've answered that question several times. Okay. What I'd like to know is what your solution would be. Just do nothing? Your no, solution I, is do I, nothing. I, I answered. Do you want me to repeat? I'll tell you again. Okay. <laughs> so I, th oh, no, no, I, no, I'm going to no, tell you. No, no, no. You, so, you think that uh, we should go to war? And I think it's a criminal action where you should... Uh, well, you know what, if we don't get congressional authority, then it's a criminal action every time. It's, uh, we should, so we what should we're doing pursue, right now, the president, you could say that's a criminal action. We should pursue the people that cooperated in this beheading because that's a murderous act. And Which we would should, be all of ISIS. No, not all of ISIS. It is all of ISIS. A lot of people they had nothing to do with it. The people that were in what country was it that just beheaded the, the French journalist? No, I forget. It's uh, one of the Balkan we did, countries. We did. We disagree on uh, whether said, everybody cooperated. And they said we're doing this on behalf of ISIS. Every, but, okay. So we should. You agree? We have that to wrap it up though, because I have to be in there by 10:20. Okay. So let me ask you this: Do you have a principle that permits you to determine when we should go to war? A principle that determines when we should go to war: yeah. when our freedoms are threatened, when people are attacking us, when people are set it, out to kill ISIS us. Has ISIS attacked America? They have beheaded our journalists. Yes. Has so that, has, that means Those that they've attacked, attacked America. Citizens. So 
it, if ISIS kills some people, they go, they, American citizens go to another country, they get murdered there. That means that that country attacked America? They get murdered in the sense of a terrorist group acting against the United States and saying, making threats to us on their videos while they behead them? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying if somebody's in Mexico, maybe involved in some kind of drug situation no, no, and gets shot, the tourists, then obviously then we're not going to go to war with them. A, if we have an organization that is saying, hey, we're out to destroy America, we're going to behead this American as proof. And oh, by the way, if you don't do anything about it, then next week we're going to behead another American. Then yes, I believe that is an act of war against our country. And so, again, I'm very sorry, but I do have to go. Ted Cruz is coming up, okay. and I have to be in there to cover it. Chris, so it was fun talking to you Yes, about you too. This. Thank you. Bye.